All right, guys, so we're going to work on a flow. What is a flow? A flow is a never ending cycle of punches and defensive moves, continuously goes non stop, technically forever if you wanted to. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is break that right down to the most basic, basic version. So if you're working with a beginner boxer or you're new to flows yourself as a coach, you can use this pattern right here to start developing flows for the first time and start bringing them into your sessions with your beginner boxers. They're really rewarding. Ton of benefits to doing flows. It keeps that concentration level up, it keeps your defensive moves sharp as well for your boxers and it just ultimately makes them feel better when they're doing a session. When your boxers start doing these flows for the first time, it builds their endurance, it builds the boxing skills, and they leave the gym feeling great, which makes you feel better as a coach, makes you look better as a coach, and people wanna work with you more, right? So, how do we do a basic flow? So we're gonna take the most basic combination in boxing to set it up, it's gonna be the one-two to start. So I'm gonna catch that straight down the line. Check out my video on how to catch the one-two as well if you want more technique on that. So we're gonna start with the one-two, and we're gonna add the slip. So I'm gonna throw the jab, he's gonna dip and slip so that left mitt goes right over his shoulder. And then the standard combination for most of these flows is gonna be a two hook two from there. So after that first slip, we've got the two hook two. So the combination so far is gonna be a one two slip, two hook two. And then from there, we're gonna add a roll. So I'm gonna throw that left hook for him to roll under. And then after that roll, we're gonna come back with exactly the same thing, the two hook two again, All right? Now, to make it into a flow, all we have to do is just keep that going. Now, the good thing about this is minimal work for me as a coach. I don't have to call two hook two. I don't have to call every single punch and it allows him to do all the work. So my boxer now knows after every slip to throw the two hook two. After every roll, he throws the two hook two. Those just become automatic counter punches, right? Stay tuned to this video because at the end, I'm gonna give you some tips and ways to make these combinations and flows your own and how to get creative with them. But we'll just stick into the basic pattern for now. Quick example of how that would look when we start to flow it, right? So we're gonna try and go for about 10, 15 seconds here, you'll see nice controlled tempo, how that plays out in a flow. So one, two, slip, roll, slip, roll, slip, roll, slip, roll, and time. All right, so you notice all I'm saying on that is just slip and roll, right? So the main thing right here is developing the timing of that call. So when do I say slip? When do I say roll? So that needs to happen as he's throwing those counter punches. So if I say it too late, it's gonna stop the flow, it's gonna stop the rhythm, so it's developing that rhythm. So one, two, slip. As he's throwing the two hook two, roll. That's when I'm gonna say it is as he's throwing that hook cross. So he's throwing three punches. As he throws that second or third punch, that's when I'm gonna prompt him to what's coming next. So just pay attention to the timing of the call right here. So one, two, slip, roll. He knows what's coming. Now, as he comes back with the next two hook two, then I can prompt him to slip. So he's going slip, roll, there. So when we break it right down and slow it right down, you can see and hear the timing of the call. Boxers should automatically know now that we've developed that pattern to hook two after every slip and roll. So there's the most basic version of a flow is with the slip and the roll, starting off with the one two and just using the cross hook cross or the two hook two in between those slips and rolls, right? So as you start to try these as a coach, remember the timing of the call is key. Just explain to your boxer what you want in between. Before I give you the tips on how to make these flows your own and get creative with them, I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit the bell notification then you're going to get notified each week if you have any questions on this stuff leave them in the comments below i'll get right back to you so we're going to get creative with the number of counter punches right we're going to keep the same defense we're going to keep the same punches we're going to change how many counter punches he throws so for this example we're going to mix it up we're going to go five counter punches off the slip and three counter punches like we just did before off the roll so one two slip there and then three Right, so that's gonna be the pattern now. He's five off the slip, three off the roll, and I'm just gonna still say slip, roll, all right? But now he knows five counter punches after every slip. So let's try it. It's nice and steady on the speed. One, two, slip. Roll. Slip. Roll. Good, there you go. So you get the idea, right, of how you can make it into a flow. So if you want to keep that flow with just the slip and the roll, going to the power side on each, then you would need the odd numbers, three, five, seven. If you bring in the even numbers, like I touched on a second ago, where you would say, if you, after the slip, he finishes on four shots, that leaves him on his left hook. So then he has to defend that side. So then we would have to bring in the slip forward. And I'll save that for another video, so I'll check back the channel for that. 
All right, so another tip, we can play around with how many counter punches we do. Now we can play around with the intensity of the counter punches. So I can go back to the original floor, which was three counter punches off the slip, three counter punches off the roll, so that real basic floor right there. And I can just drill him. I want more speed and power coming up after each defense, right? And we can build up that intensity. So if we give him 10, 15 seconds, and just cue him as we're going to up that speed and intensity. So we start off steady, and this is how we can get that real endurance and heart rate going. Uh, with these flows, a huge benefit. So one, two, slip, roll, slip, roll, more power, slip, roll, speed, roll, faster, Whoop. roll, slip, speed, roll, yeah, <laughs> there we go. All right, so you just see how I'm sort of forcing that intensity on him by giving him a little bit more resistance, making him punch a little bit faster by being faster with my mitts, but also giving him that cue as well, like faster, I want it harder, faster. So just um, an, an example there of how you can get more performance out of your boxer by just upping that intensity a little bit. So there you have it, a couple of examples of how you can play around with the counter punches and you can play around with the intensity just to keep your, your boxers on their toes and keep it fresh as well. Hopefully that gives you a good overview and a breakdown of how to build flows. So remember, one, start with the one, two, use the slip and the two hook two, use the roll and the two hook two, and then you can build it up however you want from there. It's all about the timing of the calls with this stuff. That's the key, that's the skill you need to work on. Give me your feedback in the comments below, let me know how you get on with your flows and check out this video right here how to build a 10 punch combination thanks for watching